everyone, it's Cece, and I'm so glad to have you here with me today. We are running a little bit behind schedule with our broadcast. Let me turn up the volume so you guys can hear me. But we are starting a brand new show today, and our guests are running a little bit behind schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and kick off the show with, um, you know, kind of telling you a little bit about what we're doing here, introducing myself so you know who I am. But I am CC Shafts. I am the doyen of uh, dating, divorce, and really trying to rebuild your life. I am a relationship uh, transitional coach, and I help those try to get through some of the really toughest times in their lives. And so today I own actually WGSN DB Going Solo Network, which is a singles talk station. We uh, focus on the issues and I'm sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here. We, we focus on the issues and, you know, problems and kind of some of the fun stuff the singles go through. And so we want to touch, embrace, and really hold you uh, into this new life that you're you're living. And so one of the shows that we're starting here on WGSN is um, Going Solo Veterans, Veterans Going Solo. And so what that show is about, it's really about veterans honoring who they are and their journey that they've actually participated in. And we want to be able to respect, you know, the challenges that they've had to have in their lives. And most of all, we want to be able to be uplifting and to edify them into really what they well deserve. And so, so many of our veterans are active soldiers out there. I know many that are that are abroad and, uh, you know, really struggling. Their families are struggling at home, trying to figure out a life for themselves. And so we want to be able to embrace those. We want to be able to hold them up and we want to support them. And so that is what this show is about is so that you guys know you're not alone. It's same thing with going solo. You know, you're not alone. You may be single. You may be treading this world by yourself or maybe personally, maybe you are with someone, maybe you you are married in a relationship, but you still find yourself kind of on an island, you know, still trying to figure out your way. And that's what going solo is all about. We're bringing in a community, trying to give you um, self personal growth, along with being able to inspire you as we continue on. So I want to ask you to join me right here. I'm on we're right here on my Facebook page live. So I'll oh, thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to ask you if you want to, if you've got Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, you're welcome to just come right on into our station here. Have a chat with us. The guys are on their way. You know, let me let me ask you something. Isn't they always say that women are the ones that are late and we're always the ones that are, you know, they're they're waiting for us. But you know, when you got something good, it's worth waiting for, isn't it? So we're going to wait for these great guys. Their names are, um, we'll go ahead and share that with you. It's Dave Barr. And Dave Barr is a tremendous gentleman, tremendous veteran, has sacrificed and given a great deal to our country. And we want to honor and respect him. Also, Gary Dobbs uh, is uh, going to be in the studio here with us today. And both of these guys have put together this tremendous foundation. It's called the Period. Uh, if I can talk today, it would be very nice. It's called the Patriot Express Foundation. And so that foundation is going to have a function this Saturday. And uh, what they're going to do is, is really try to help veterans out there. So they're going to tell us a little bit more about that when they come into the studio. Hey, Trisha, I see you here with us today. So that's a lot. It's great having you with us. I appreciate you, uh, 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 Trisha Ann Andresen is uh, the author of many books. She's the author of the Unstoppable um, series that um, that is, you know, I think personal development is so very vital to us. And she has developed these uh, these books that not only help you with your own personal life, but also in business. And and she's uh, continuing on. We're trying to twist her arm and bring in her here on WGSN DB Going Solo Network. So we hope that that will happen to us. Hey, Kathy, it's nice seeing you. And I love that picture of you because it reminds me of when we were at the beach together. So I think that's a great, a great picture of you. And how are you doing on your home decorating? So I know that you've been working hard on that. 
and uh, your house has been looking great. So when are we going to get some more videos about that? So it would be nice to see. Hey, Diana, Diana Shields with us today, and I want to thank you so much for joining us here. Again, you are welcome to just come right on into the studio, and uh, we can chat with you live if you'd like. But I want to thank you so much for uh, being with us today here on the show. So let's talk about how can we personally embrace the veterans out there? What can we do to embrace their lives, let them know that we're here for them, that we want to be able to, um, you know, be, be a sounding board or, or be someone that we, they can turn to? How can you do that? So I've been asking myself that many times. And of course, there's very um, foundations out there. There's functions out there. There's various uh, things that you can do. But the most important is to do something. You know, so often we tell ourselves, hey, um, hey, we're going to do something. And then we don't actually do anything. And so the reality is, in order for us to make a change in someone's life, we have to actually do something. And so what I'm going to ask for you to do, I'm going to ask for you, I'm going to ask a call of action today. I'm going to ask for you to do something. If you can attend the function this weekend, that would be awesome. If you're not able to do that, reach out to a veteran today or sometime this coming up week. Reach out and do something, whether you give something or whether you, you know, of, of an act of kindness um, just something to another veteran would be a great a great thing to do. It's it's wonderful to be able to experience that kind of stuff. Hey, Kathy. Kathy says hi, and I want to just put you up there and let you know that I do acknowledge you, and I want to I want you to know that we are so happy to have you on here with us. These guys better hurry up here. Let's see. I want to thank you guys for showing up here and being with us. It's very challenging to do these live shows because you never know what's going to happen. You know, right before the show started, my computer was starting to go crazy and I had to do a scan on it to make sure that it, um, <laughs> it cleaned out. But we got it working and everything is great. So, you know, that's the challenges, isn't it, of being single? is or, or because we don't have anybody sometimes to turn to and I'm very fortunate because I have a wealth of friends I have just a tremendous amount of great people in my life and and those of you know who you are you know Kathy you're one of them and and uh, those that will reach out to me and help me in my time of need which is really great and so that's what we want to make sure that today these veterans know that we do acknowledge the service that they've given us and we do honor what they have done for us today. And so we want to make sure that we help them in any way that we possibly can. So if you are a veteran or know of a veteran that needs some help, there's many um, foundations and associations out there that we can try to point you to that we want to be able to help you with. And so we do appreciate that. Hey, Ray, it's great to see you here on with us. And, and I appreciate you coming on board with us. We, um, you know, we're waiting for our guests to come in. And so we're hoping, I hope the lighting is okay. Although I look better in the dark. <laughs> so, but, uh, but, but, you know, I hope we're not like too dark for these guys. I want to make sure that they can see us. But, you know, the show today is really going to be awesome once we get it kicked off. And luckily, I don't have another program after this. So I'm going to run until these guys are able to be here and join with us. But, you know, they, they've they had many challenges in their lives. And we want to be able to honor and respect the fact that their, their time is of the essence. They're putting together this um, tremendous um, foundation. They're putting together this tremendous function that's happening this weekend. And it's over. Let's see where it is. It says, um, every year Dave rides his Harley across the United States, starting from his home in California and ending in Safety Harbor, Florida on um, September the 8th. So uh, for in 2018. So I guess he's here with us, uh, which is going to be kind of cool. And then um, let's see. It's going to have music. Uh, music from the Bearded Brothers is going to be there this weekend. There's going to be 10,000 uh, paper cuts, Velvet jo uh, Jones. I'm not quite sure about that. There's going to be raffles. There's going to be uh, donations from Budweiser, um, uh, Jesse James Bourbon, Blue Chair, uh, Blue Rum, uh, Deep Eddie Vodka, and Fireball Whiskey. I mean, if that doesn't want to 
make you go to this function? What does? I mean, really. Hey, Kathy, thanks for telling me I look great. I appreciate that. <laughs> because, you know, you never know. You know, when we're getting a little bit, uh, I, don't, I don't want to say old. Could we say preserved? <laughs> We uh, we sometimes wonder how we're doing on things, but you know, hey, we just live our lives as we as we possibly can. Now, um, I did not quite sure exactly what to tell you, but I do want to share with you some of the things that are happening. And you just bear with me because when our guests come, we're going to turn right into the show today. So we're just kind of filling some air time. So I know your time is precious and I appreciate y'all being with us. I really, really do appreciate that. Ray, you're so sweet. Thank you for, for that. I appreciate that. I'm going to put that up so everyone knows that you're here bearing with us and sending a comment. It's great to have you and uh, giving us that um, support. So it's really, it's awesome to have that. But, you know, we do a lot of stuff here on Going Solo Network. We have functions that we do. I'm actually doing a function this weekend, so I'm sorry that it, it doesn't coordinate with the function that the veterans here are having. But we do a lot of single functions. We do um, – we help out a lot of people that are in need, especially singles that are traveling through. So often when you go through a relationship loss, and I think – 50% 50, 50 of baby boomers now are experiencing this. They're going through a divorce. And so a lot of their lives are changing and their worlds are, are really just not what they thought they were going to be. And so they're making that transition of adjustment. And that's very difficult, especially when you've been in long-term relationships, when you've planned your life totally different. And, you know, so they're, they're really struggling with that. And so what we try to do is be able to connect with them so that they understand that they're not alone because being single, you're, you're not, you don't have to be alone. And so we try to combine our community with various different things that we do. So we have a lot of really great functions. This Friday, we're actually going to be meeting at Applebee's here locally. If you're here in the Tampa Bay area, come and join us. We're going to be at East Bay Applebee's. Um, that's where we kind of hang out first Friday of every month. We have our uh, divorce support group. And um, it's not one of those where you cry in the Kleenex and, in, and you're bad mouthing your ex. It really isn't. It's the first step that those that are uh, going through that transition of relationship of really building their new single life takes. And so what they do is they come and they realize that they um, have other people that that are there that have experienced what they've experienced and they don't quite feel so alone and so distraught as to what they're going through. So it's actually kind of a very uplifting meeting. It always is. And everybody always tells me they love to, uh, they love to be there and participate in it. We have um, sometimes a lot of people and sometimes we don't. So it just depends on how, how the weather is and how people are feeling. Then we go on and we have single mingles. We had a really cool single mingles this last uh, uh, week, and that was very successful. I was very happy with that. We had a just huge amount of rain, and I thought it was going to make people not want to come. We did have a great deal of people sign up, but then some didn't, of course. But we had really about, I would say, close to 30 people there. And um, that was actually a very nice group of people because we were able to sit and talk to each other. We formed, a, towards the end of it, the evening, we formed a great big uh, table and we all went around and introduced ourselves and everybody was very excited and happy. And what was really fun is that they were able to somehow, throughout the conversations, connect with each other on different things. Like they would say, oh, well, I'm a Sagittarius or, oh, I was born here or, oh, I know somebody there or I've been in that town that you were born in and and they really started connecting as people and it was really nice to see that I think a lot of great friendships were made there and I got a feeling maybe two dates were all also uh were also there and uh so anyhow so that was really a lot of fun so that's one of the things we've done we're working on the station WGSNDB going solo network we've um, actually now launched a live TV station, which runs 24 seven. So the shows that you'll see like this show here will now be dropped into that station and you'll be able to hear the rebroadcast again, because this is what I find. And, and I, so the same for me, when I was going through 
uh, my relationship loss, I found that I needed good stuff to listen to. I needed good stuff to watch. And not all everything you see on TV is really great too, that inspires you and, and uplifts you. So I found that I needed to fill myself with that. And so, and also what I found is that when I'm listening to something, when I'm listening to a, a podcast or I'm watching a, a YouTube uh, show, I don't always grasp at the very first time what it is that I, I maybe need to hear. Maybe I need to hear something and I'm hearing that, but then I've missed some other bits of it because a lot of our hosts and our guests that are on, they have a wealth of information. They give you tidbits and, and uh, tips and a lot of really good information that will help you move forward in your life, um, whether it be divorced, single, or, or just really living a very inspiring life. So even if you're married, I think some of these inspirational shows we have on are just absolutely awesome. But what I found is that when I go back and listen to them again, there's something that I didn't catch. You know, and so then I've been able to grow from that. I think we've got our guests here on the phone. So I'm going to take this call. Hey, Gary, how's it going? Right. And um, yes, and my car, if you see it, it's a green, lime green um, Kia Soul. So if you see that, you know you're in the right area. Yes, I'm towards the water. I'm on, on the on water. Yes, I'm in the cul-de-sac by the water. Hey, guys, we're on live. Uh, we're on live broadcasting now. So, yeah. So we're just filling in. I'm number 20. Okay, and just park where there's a V if you can, where there's a V, a v for visitors. Yeah, you might have to park across the street, but yeah, but somewhere with, that's a V. Yeah, so if you see my car, you know you're in your right spot. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, they're pulling into the parking lot. We're broadcasting right here live. And so isn't this <laughs> cool? <laughs> Sometimes we just have to kind of go with the flow of things. But you know what? Good things are worth waiting for, you know? And um, I, I just think the show is going to be great. These guys are awesome. I feel very lucky and fortunate to have them, you know, join us here today. And so I come on in. Okay. That's someone else. <laughs> you can go right on into dad. Okay. That is the lady that helps take care of my father. And she's an awesome lady, very, um, very young and inspiring. And sometimes when she comes in, we talk a little bit and I get kind of recharged, you know, because I remember the use of that. You know, remember how we were so youthful and all that we had to look forward to in our lives? I don't want to miss that. I don't want to miss out on on being youthful and fun and in all of that. So sometimes, you know, when I'm talking to her, I think to myself, gosh, I want to make sure that I keep being like that. You know, that I wake up and sometimes the humdrum of every day, you know, it's hard to do that. So I'm sure you guys feel that way too sometimes. But sometimes I, when I do that, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I want to make sure that I kind of fill myself with positiveness and that I'm, I'm energetic and that I'm, you know, I take the world by storm. And so um, isn't that the way we want to live our life? You know, we want to live it like that. So I'm so excited about these guys coming and I can't wait. And so we may have to move the camera around a little bit and kind of refigure. I might have to get a little lighter in here because I don't want it to be too dark for them. But um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm really appreciating you guys staying with us because I know that it's kind of hard to stay on a show when someone is not really covering the subject matter that we had hoped to cover. And we will shortly. So we're going to be honoring our veterans today. This show is meant for that. Um, so if you have a veteran that you would like to uh, have come on the show, or if you're a veteran and you'd like to come on the show, we'd love to have you. I'd love to get journeys of people, you know, that are, are on the show. You know, I would love to know about their journeys of their life. I'm going to get my dad to come on. I mean, he would make an awesome guest talk about where he's, you know, where he was when he was younger and 
and things that he went through. I remember him telling me that he was in a foxhole at 21, you know, knee high of water. And uh, those are things we don't want to forget. We want to make sure. Oh, I see them coming in now. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So I may have to bug off the camera just to make sure that we've got them on. And um, but just bear with me so that we can go ahead and do the show here because I think it will be a lot of fun. I saw them outside. I'm hoping they'll come in without me having to go out and get them. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, come on back. Right in through here. Can you hear my voice? Hey, <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Cece. Hey, Cece. Hi, Cece. Hi, nice to meet you. Me too. Yeah. Bars, awesome, awesome. Okay, we are live, so we'll have to work the camera however we want. Awesome. Hi, how are you? I never know what Rick Rack you're left in your time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, they brought me the the uh, flyer. Brought the flyer here for Olivia. it. Yeah. Come All right, guys, side. if you want to take a seat, however you can, we push the table out a little bit more, make it easier for you guys to get in here. So everyone, just bear with us a little bit. We are live. I'm going to pull this down so they can see us a little bit better. Is it easier for you to, to no, just fine, I'm all, I'll adjust. Okay. If you'll sit there, I'll scoot in the middle. And then, Gary, if you want to come on the other side of me, and then let's see where we are with the camera. So... Okay, let's see here. Can we see each everyone or no? We cannot. Hey, we have to act like we like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Can you friendly. see? Yeah, get get close. You gotta get a little farther back here. Is that good? That's okay, good. we have our guest with us today, and so I am very excited to be able to start this new show that we're having with the veterans, and we want to honor and respect them and make sure that their journeys are heard as we've traveled through. So today we're going to talk about an exciting event you guys have. Absolutely. So let's introduce you. You are Dave Barr. Dave Barr. And we have Gary. Gary Dodds. Gary Dodds. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have put together this uh, function that we're having this Saturday. Right. So tell us a little bit about why you did this and what is the function. Okay. Dave Barr is the founder. I'll let him start that. Right. I'm the president of the Patriot Express, which uh, I've been running for nine years, going coast to coast in the United States on my motorcycle every year from California and um, and now to Florida for the last, this is the fourth year mm -hmm. of the Patriot Express. And um, uh, we do this to benefit veterans' families. Okay, what we do, we, we collect, we're a 50133, we collect the money, and then we will disperse it. Now, one of the things about the Patriot Express that is unique, and your audience needs to know it, mm -hmm. is the fact that in the Patriot Express, no one's paid. And the people we support, no one is paid. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one, our, our uh, receiver of our uh, main amount of largesse is Operation Military Embrace. They've done five and a half million dollars worth of charity to our fam to military families in wow. need um, and, and no one is paid in that organization uh, and uh, also service for humanity foundation which works at keeping marriages together mm -hmm. you know the statistics um, where there's a, a, a PTSD at a certain level mm -hmm. involved there's an 86 percent right. chance the marriage will fail mm -hmm. if there's a disability on top of it forget it it's over and that mm -hmm. a lot of times it leads the veteran to feel like there's nothing left and they end up topping themselves Right. You know, and um, as we know, there's a massive suicide rate, which is mm -hmm. way too much. That's where that is our main focus. We help other organizations right here in Florida, in the in the Tampa area. We were mm -hmm. working with the Gold Star Mothers of America and also with uh, Canines for Warriors. Mm -hmm. OK, we, we also support them. Well, that sounds wonderful. And, you know, it is so true. The suicide rate is so high. I remember my son, he's a Marine, was a Marine. Uh, I, and he tells me he's always a Marine. <laughs> What's a Marine? You're always a Marine. I was an old junk yeah, so. <laughs> And he said that, that that was, you know, something that he tried very hard to make sure that the guys were, you know, felt connected mm -hmm. when, when he was overseas. And so, uh, because it was so high, and especially around the holidays. And now we're, we're quickly approaching the holidays. Yeah. And so not only are the guys and the gals that are away from us, you know, struggling, but I love what you're doing, connecting with the families here at home. Yeah. Well, see, see, that's, it's, 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 for me, it's duty. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I once had a, a command when I got out of the hospital, as you know, I'm a bilateral amputee. I'm uh, meaning I have a leg off below, above the knee, a leg off below the knee. 
I'm burned over my hands, my upper arms, my back was burned off, and I'm deaf in my left ear. And I tell people, if that's not enough, I'm colorblind as well. Anyway. Um, so I bet I look pretty good. Oh, you look great. <laughs> Give me more. You see, you want to get closer, but we can arrange that. Anyway, um, CC, the, the, I, I went back on operational duty. I went back to Angola in a little bit different capacity. But I was right back up in the thick of the war. Then he asked me before I went, he says, have you had enough bar? I says, you know what, Colonel Bethfear? I says, what is enough? I says, duty finishes when they stick you in a box, then it's over. That's when your duty is finished mm -hmm. and not before then. Now, what a great, I and mean, it, you're so inspiring. You truly are. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your service. I like to think of myself as not just a pretty face in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, tell us a little about, about you, Gary. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, I, I own a motorcycle shop here in town, uh, Precision Motorsports. and. Um, I've been involved with Dave over the last 10 years through the Patriot Express, mainly through motorcycle events, and we connected real strong about 10 years ago, and now I'm the Florida State Captain for Patriot Express, and it's my responsibility to organize these rallies, and you know how those work. You're yeah. getting sponsors, you're getting locations. This particular one coming up this Saturday, we've got four bands playing. We're expecting a, over 1,000 people to come in. We've got some fantastic sponsors, Fran Hosh, Public Food Stores, Budweiser, uh, just some really good State Farm Insurance, some really good Florida people that want to reach out to military families. And this is one way they can do it. And obviously, we're always looking for donations and sponsors year after year. So anybody that's interested can please give me a call. And my family was basically Air Force. My dad was a captain in World War II. Uh, flying B-17s that didn't make it very good. They, yeah. Their success rate to, to finish out a 25 mission uh, post was not very good. But I'm around, so he did make it. So yeah. he can say that. I tell you, my dad's sitting in the other room, and he the same thing. He flew and uh, World War II. And my father was a naval aviator. He was at Pearl Harbor and wow. spent three years and four months in um, patrol bombers with white hulls in the, in the U.S. Navy. And uh, in the war before he was repatriated back to the United States. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing how many veterans we have out there. And, and so, sons of veterans. Absolutely, sons, daughters too. That's yeah. right. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we have a we have a, a lot of women now too in the service that are away from their families, and so that's very tough, you know, on the kids and and you know. That type of thing. So I think what you're doing this weekend is awesome. So everyone, please come out. Now, where is it actually at? Well, the VFW and Safety Harbor is where our ride begins. Okay. VFW right there in the back off of Ninth uh, Avenue on uh, Harbor Lake Court in Safety Harbor. At 9 o'clock, we're having a breakfast, registration, and then kickstands up at around 10 or 10.30. Mm -hmm. And then we have our – it's a poker run design where you get five cards. And the best hand of the poker actually is given $150 at the end of the ride, which is always great Right. to, to have a little competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ride goes around the, the county. I don't know if people should be familiar with Biff Burger. That's been around forever. Oh, yeah. The American Legion up in Dunedin, the big American Legion post there is one of our stops. And then the final stop is back at the Harbor Bar. That's, that's when you're going to get your fifth card, and that's where the street party begins. And that's actually on Main Street Safety Harbor. And we got a party that starts there for celebrating and, and honoring military. We're also honoring the first responders mm -hmm. because this is three days before 9-11, which we all know what happened 9-11 with the trade centers. Yeah. We want to get those firemen and policemen in there and recognize them. So it's kind of we're, we're bundling a few things here, but it's – going to be a great party, four bands, lots of food, lots of prizes, raffles, auctions. It's just an ongoing. Now, if they haven't signed up to ride, can mm -hmm. they still do that? Or Absolutely. Do so Saturday can, morning, yeah. 9 o'clock. So, so if you guys got a bike and you want to come on out and ride, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. Have some fun participating that way. Or actually just go to the party. Just Either have a good way. time. If yeah. you're not a rider, come to the street party. Right. Most of all, donate. Please donate if you possibly can. It does help the family. And as Dave said, no one's getting paid for this. So all the money goes to the families. So it's great. And the people we support. And the people you support. That's good. So you do this each and every year. Every year. Every nine year. years. I've been running back and forth across the United States. 
and on my uh, on my uh, Harley Davidson. Right. Order. And um, anyway, and I tend to continue as long as mm -hmm. the good Lord allows me. Now, do you live in California? I live in California. Lives up in the mountains east of Bakersfield. Right. So you take your bike and you ride it here. I ride it all the way here. I, I, this tree right now is about 4,200 miles old. I I had my first event or events in out of uh, Independence, Missouri, um, and uh, where we did a golf day and then a ride. The next event was last Saturday out of uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and then we're down here for the main event, which is the Safety Harbor event, which is you know of the Patriots' best. Gary is a state captain. Wow, that's awesome! Now you have brought a book here. I brought one have. of one of four books I've written. Okay, so and this is book here. this is uh, about my uh, journey around the world that was eighty three thousand written miles on a route. That has yet to be duplicated by anyone. It's very extreme. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go from the bottom tips of continents all the way to the tops of, no, the, of the continent, leading up above it. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've deserts I've crossed, the Namib, the Gobi, the Sahara, and wow. um, you know, and I am the first person to ever cross the Gobi alone on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and among other things, I rode into Tiananmen Square up in front of uh, Mao Zedong's portrait. And then uh, Red Square in Moscow in front of Lenin's tomb, and again in front of Ho Chi Minh's uh, tomb in Ho Chi Minh Square in Hanoi, the three squares of wow. communism. Many great adventures in this book. It wow. takes you to the ends of the earth, and it's very extreme. It's not it's not a Sunday ride. Yeah, yeah it says 83,000 miles on the motorcycle. So you guys... If you want to read a good book, I, a good one. I will also, at the street party, mm -hmm. have the other three books, which is volume one and volume two of Four Flags, which is my military service and the four countries I've served in conflict. And um, and then there will be the Riding the Ice, which was my first of two Guinness World Records. Okay. And will you be able to do a signing? Yep. I'll signing? sign the books. Oh, uh, gosh. Isn't that great? You'll be able to get the book, the other books, to buy them all and have them all Autograph that would be a, a total wonderful, and you know what? Buy extra and send them out as gifts. That would be a great Christmas. That would be wonderful. <laughs> it really would because it would help a lot. Not only you know are you helping, but you're also giving something that's totally awesome to read. So yeah, we we want to be able to fill our hearts and minds with good with good things, good mm -hmm. stuff. So any other things you guys would like to share? No other than please come out and join us. Don't, if you're a motorcyclist, don't think, well, it's raining or it's going to rain. I don't want to go. Listen, I ride through rain, sometimes snow. I ride through heat. I come through the Mojave Desert, Death Valley, you know, I, I, and I'll be going back through a lot of desert. Uh, and, uh, you know, I do this, you know, no matter what, what the weather, our service, men and women serving us, they serve no matter what the weather is, rain, snow. Ice, yes. sandstorms, heat, mm -hmm. they're out there all the time. So, folks, get on that motorcycle. Come and join us. And if that doesn't suit you, get out there and get to that street party. Come and donate. Be a part of the fun. Oh, it sounds great. Plus, you're having breakfast at the beginning. So you get to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that would be great. Now, tell us a little bit about the charge. Is there a charge for this? Do yes. we have a, any? Okay. We've got, we got entry registrations for motorcyclists. You know, for the poker run, you get four hands. Plus the wristband for the street party for twenty five dollars, okay. or you can get just if you want to do just the ride, mm -hmm. you can get two hands for fifteen, and then the street party is going to be ten dollars, which includes five raffle tickets, mm -hmm. and that gets you in for the four bands, the food. We're having drink specials. We've got uh, blue chair rum. They're doing some really fun stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Budweiser doing some really fun stuff with beers. Uh, we've got support from our local brewery here called Crooked Thumb. Uh, they're providing some things. Uh, we've got pizza. We've got barbecue from Brady's Barbecue. So wow. really a lot of local flavored safety harbor fun. And I've been in the harbor for 30 years, and mm -hmm. it's not much better than here, and especially with this setting. It's just for the right reason. You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So very inexpensive. I mean, it's a, great, a great family fun weekend. And uh, it doesn't really cost all that much. So I would definitely think everyone should go, for sure. Hey, if you're not in a motorcycle, you can come in a car. Follow us. If yeah. You can, get a, you can get a couple of poker hands, follow us in the car. You know, come along. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Gosh, you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys will listen up, take advantage of this, because I think it's not only a great event for you guys to be in, but you're doing something really good. Doing something good. I mean, how can you do anything better? So, guys, anything else you want to share? No, 
Tons parking. of free parking. Don't if like Dave said, if you come in a car, mm -hmm. we've got availability. The city's given us a couple streets to close down. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of parking. We got the city, big city uh, parking lot that's right next to the harbor bar. We, we've got about 20 vendors. We've got a jewelry vendor. We've got a metal worker that makes these cool American flags out of metal. We've got a cigar vendor. We've got um, we've got several different. We got the health clubs are there. We've got a massage person there. We've got a couple of insurance companies. If wow. you need, if we need some quotes, yeah, yeah, a lot of good fun, a lot of good things to see. Oh, it sounds great. I think this is going to be an awesome function, and I hope we'll see a lot of pictures and a lot of you know press will be there. I hope that they will be there so that we can get this out to let everyone know that not only this year we're going to participate in it, but also next year. It'll, It'll be, be the great. second Saturday of every September, mm -hmm. as long as you know the good Lord allows it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, I tell you what, this is Cece with Going Solo. I want to thank you so much for being with me. We are Going Solo Veterans today. This is our brand new show. We're going to kick it off. If you know any veterans that would like to participate, bring them on down. Have them uh, come on the show. You don't have to be here in the studio. You can just do it right from your home. We can connect by computer, so it's no problem at all. So we hope that you'll join us each and every week as we bring these great stories and journeys through our lives and honor our veterans and their families. So bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh yeah.